Describe for our audience your ideal customer. Are they in a specific practice area or areas? Are they a given size? Do they have a given revenue? Do they have a geographic focus? Do they employ certain fee structures? Where have you seen simple law be most valuable to attorneys? I would say it's law firms that are truly interested in the benefit of the software, not the software. So I know that sounds funny. I'll explain. So sometimes law firms will come to us and ask for a demo or want to find out more. And they're like, oh, but I use this app for this and this app for that and this app for that. And I want to keep using all those apps. Yeah, that's not us. Oh, interesting. Okay. So if you want to continue to use a variety of apps and you're just looking for a data congregation, if you will, something Mm. to put all that data in one spot, that's definitely not us. The Hmm. firms who do best with us come to us and go, okay, this is my problem. How can you fix it? There we shine. So if you're really tied to a specific app or a specific way of doing things and using things, I'm not saying we won't work, but I'm just saying if you're really tied to that, then we're probably not the best option. In terms of areas of law, we have a very wide variety. I would say immigration is a big piece of what we do. And we have a lot of automation that's already included, right? Since that's a federal law, the forms are the same in every state. We already have document automation set up for every single immigration form out there. If you adopt uh, simple law, you're already getting that. We also have a lot of real estate, family law, estate planning, probate, that kind of thing. So it really does vary. And geographically, all over the U.S., 